it's just it just decentivizes commitment in mm. marriage yeah Hello everyone, I'm Felipe. I'm Lillian. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK reacting to Great Britain. We make five new videos a week, so hit that subscribe button now. Today we're going to react to more Only Fools and Horses. This is There's No Calories in Weed Killer. Okay, so here we are again with Only Fools. This is our Only Fools and Horses week, I, I still don't understand the and horses part. Do you understand? Horses, courses. Maybe it's like some Cockney slang thing. Oh. I don't know. Someone explain to us in the comments. What is the significance of the title? One, two, three, go. You know why she don't want us in there, don't you? Probably filled up with her devices of sexual torture. I bet poor Adele's in there now, bound and gagged, wearing a rubber mask, a loincloth, and being threatened with French lessons. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's been looking a bit seedy lately. Yeah, and it's hardly through lack of food, is it? I mean, look, there are third world nations who give up their mineral rights for what's on that plate. I wonder what happened to his fried slice. Perhaps he didn't want it. His stomach's been a bit dicky, hasn't he? That's true. Any. Hello. Oh, hello, Trig. Yeah, hang on, I'll get him. Pauline! Untie Dell, will you? He's wanted. <laughs> I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> hey, what do you mean, untie Dell, anyway? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Who is it? It's Trig. Trigger. Oh, hello, Trig. What do you want? No, 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 he didn't disturb me. I had to get up anyway. I was wanted on the phone. Dell? Mm. Hang on a minute, will you, Trig? Come <laughs> out. I'm just popping down to the jewellers, put a deposit on that ring I saw. Oh, yeah. What? Another one? You've been engaged five times, married twice, you must have more rings than Bravingtons. Just shut it, Rodney. What is it with you, eh? You trying to corner the world's gold market, or have you just got a thing about wedding cakes? I'll bang you one in a minute. Leave her alone, will ya? Don't forget you've got to arrange a medical for your life insurance. Mm. I'll see you down the estate agents. We can go on to the bank from there. All right, darling. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Cut it out! What have you been doing? Sniffing that glue again, have you? Oh, What's going on? Oh, sorry about that, Trick. Stain. Yeah. Now I've just robbed me of one of his perfume, perfume gardens. Garden. Is that her what robe? Me about? Eh? Who is he wearing? He is <laughs> wearing her stuff. Delicate matter. <laughs> eh? No, I you're my mate. No, I won't say that you're interfering. I promise I won't tell you to mind your own business. Just say what you want to say, will ya? Yeah. Oh, did I? Did you? Did he? What's going well, on? Well, listen, Trig. Why don't you mind your own bloody business, eh? Who do you think you are interfering, eh? Look, you just keep your nose out of it, all right, pal? That's Trig keeping. <laughs> Do you know what he had the audacity to say? He phoned me up to say that he heard last night that the police had investigated Bobby Finch's death. Apparently, he died of food poisoning. Food poisoning? Mm. It's probably her ex. Your breakfast getting cold, Del, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Granddad. <clears throat> yeah, well, do you know, I think I'm putting on a bit of weight. I think uh, I think I'll go on a diet. Get off, there's no calories in weed killer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. clever. Well, he's being duped now for the first time. Yeah. Like. I he's mean, he's met a match. And I mean, Rodney, Rodney's extremely vocal about his disdain mm. towards this girl, and Delboy just like. Doesn't care. He's head over heels. Oh, He's a simp. Wow. He's simping on her. Weird. Hmm. How men could just fall for it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. He lost his frame completely. Yeah. He's into her frame, 100%. Yeah, that's true. Go get life insurance. I'll meet you there. Mm. Da -da -da, wearing her clothing. Yeah. It's How very strange. Doing yeah. Oh, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. I just saw that news about um, mm. Dr. Dre. Dr. Seuss? 
his divorce settlement has oh, to pay out. Oh, yeah. What is it? Like 300, 300 a month? $300,000 a month to his yeah. ex-wife. And people wonder why marriage is on the decline. And if once she, once she gets engaged or whatever, married again, then the he payment stopped. stops. Mm-hmm. So she has no incentive to, to get married. To get married again. To yeah. what? Find a father for you know, like a, I don't know. Did she have children with him? No idea. It's just it just decentivizes commitment in yeah. marriage. Yeah. Anyway, I do. I just wonder, like, was she in it for like like this woman's in it? Married twice. She's in it. Yeah. For, she's a gold digger. Although he doesn't have a lot of gold. Maybe yeah. she's she wants a, a life insurance payout. Yeah, maybe. That's what she wants. Which is horrible. Like that she's gonna he's gonna she's gonna kill him? Is that the I always wondered about that when um couples pull out life insurance plans yeah. and they know about it and they're like angling, like I, we have life insurance, but I don't even I can't even remember the coverage we have and I never think about No, it's and I think it's for the children. Like it's yeah. not it's not for... But it is that if I die, you get it, and vice versa. Yeah. Um, That's because you want to make sure that your children are taken care of. Presuming that you'll take care of my children when yeah. you get the payout. But um, lots of spouses, at least in the movies, it seems, are like angling to kill their other spouse. I know. To get that life insurance money. And well, I never it's, And it's usually that. like, yeah, I guess it's like really expensive, like really high... Yeah, millions. Pay, pays that, yeah, like yeah. Huge, like huge amounts. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Weed kill. <laughs> there are no calories in weed killer. <laughs> Poisoned. Oh. Man. They mm-hmm. say, I saw a tweet today that said, only 40 or so percent of all murders are successfully investigated with a conviction. Wow. So that... It's for, it seems easier to get away with murder than you would imagine. Is that just here in the UK or is that? I think it was in the US. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. I thought maybe single digits or 10% yeah. were unsolved. Yeah. But to think that the majority of murders. I could see maybe that you couldn't get it convict. You couldn't get a conviction. But you know who did it, kind of like the evidence is kind of suggesting. That's not technically legally solving it, though. Right. You don't solve it unless you get a conviction. I know. Exactly. Mind. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Is oh, like I see. maybe people, everyone knows who did it, but they just couldn't prove everyone it. Everyone knows. You know what people say? <laughs> like OJ. I don't know, but you know, like when people. Where were you during the OJ trial? I was living in my parents' house as a were child. Were you watching it glued to yeah, the TV? Yeah, it was on TV. Man, what a spectacle. I wonder if British the people... Glove. Yeah, the glove. Yeah. I can't get yeah. it <laughs> Doesn't fit. Yeah, that was it. Toast, man. Over. Everyone was like, are you going to take this seriously? Johnny Cochran. And Sa- such and such Kardashian. Did you know? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. representative, the attorney. Yeah. Yeah, he That's had the highest him. power team that, yeah. like four or five yeah. staff, yeah. that money could buy. Yeah, so and everyone... the chase in the white Bronco, it was a movie, man. It was, it was riveting. Yeah. It's like, man, is he gonna run out of gas? He and he wasn't even going super fast. He was just going, yeah, and going. Obviously, running from the police. Yeah. Obviously. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We hope. You've never eaten weed killer. Tell us your stories about using weed killer. Whether you've had children that are, have wandered onto the yard or whether you yourself have gotten sick. I know weed killer used to be very powerful back in the day. Could kill a cow, could kill a man. So give us your stories. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>